Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are out here on Ponce Inlet, right on the beach. Full sun right here. Ocean's right there. Beautiful sunrise this morning. And what we're doing is we're going to waterproof the exterior of this beach house. This house is less than a year old. We're oceanfront. We're right on the Atlantic Ocean. Take a look and see what the builder had put in. I'm going to stop the video right here for just a second so I can explain this. Can you see this white line forming across the wall? Remember, this house is a year old. What is this white line? Notice it's very straight. This is block, and this is the mortar between the blocks, indicating movement of the wall. What causes the movement? Movement in walls is caused from water. And if you look at this trench that we've just exposed this pipe, this is the builder's install and water's gotten under the foundation and caused that wall to crack. Some people say that the sock around the pipe creates problems. That's not the problem. Other people say pea gravel is the problem. Neither of these are the problem. The problem is that the pipe's not deep enough. You know, code for the beach is much different than code for inside the city. We are directly on the Atlantic Ocean and things are much different out here. This passed inspection, but this doesn't work because it's not deep enough. This system collected water, but unfortunately on a big rain, a northeaster or the hurricane, this thing filled up with water and it went under the foundation and those blocks began to soak up that water and it just poured into the house in that corner caused all kinds of problems. We're going to have to dig this up and replace it. We're going to use Easy Flow. It works so good in the sand. So Chuck's making quick work of getting rid of this uh, extra stone. Remember that we have to take the stone out because it's not deep enough. We want to get our footer system a little deeper. We did find a piece of something that they'd left under the floor. Uh, water's definitely been traveling along that. We'll pull that out of there and get that out of there. But I want you guys to notice how clean the gravel is. This system was not wrapped, remember? There's no debris in that gravel at all, and this is pea gravel. One of the reasons that we use the Easy Flow is because, number one, it does have a 30% better flow rate than gravel. And number two, it's a self-contained system. It's already wrapped. And normally in the sand, we, we're concerned about that. But notice, there is no debris in the sand at all. When you're doing this yourself and you're getting tired, it could be because you're digging too much. And I don't want you to think that you don't need to dig enough, but you know, do exactly what you have to do. You can always come back and widen it, things like that. But the science of digging, okay, there really is a science. Maybe I should write a book about that. <laughs> so we're just about ready to go ahead and start cleaning this off. <clears throat> We've got all the gravel, you know, of course you see some, but we got all the gravel removed. And you can kind of see what happens on a, a pour of a footer. You see this major overpour right here. And they they actually did seal it right here. They sealed where the stucco meets the footer. Remember on how this is built. Right here, there is a four inch block and it's solid stone, solid block. And above my hand begins the hollow block. So this is the actual wall and the floor is at the top of the floor is right there. It's at that level. We want to make sure we seal above the floor. So we're going to be way, oops, <laughs> we're going to be way up here when we put our sealant on to make sure that that stucco is not letting that water get inside. And back here where Joe's at, he's just got a few more feet, clean it out. Probably could scrape it out right now instead of digging, just scrape it all out. Start one side or the other. He's got that and we'll be ready to clean this off. We'll take a little break. I'm not sure what time it is. It's probably about 930 and it looks like we're you know almost done but really this is not the hard part and um, the hard part is all of course always putting it back together, sealing it, getting your pipe laid, those type of things. That takes the longest. Once your trench is all dug, take some time and you know really clean this thing out. You want to, we're not too concerned about the cement that's on the footer. We want to get where that stucco is meeting that footer. We may come back if we need to with a wire brush, whatever it takes. We've got to get that clean so that our sealant can actually seal it up. 
and um, we always, you know, sometimes you don't see us scraping and all that, but we always get it really clean, and um, we'll put that liquid rubber on there, and we should be set and ready to go. So again, we've got it really nice and clean, looking good. <clears throat> you do notice that we are in a sandy base, and you can see all the water that's laying down in there. And that tells me groundwater is really high. <clears throat> you can see what they've done here is they've painted the stucco. And it is a good paint, but it's a sticky, sticky stuff. And we've got to really get this sealed right here, right where the stucco meets this footer. This is solid concrete, not concerned about sealing that at all. There's no water is getting up through there at all. But it is getting sucked up right along here, which was below grade. You can see where the grade line was right there. You can see the mark. And, but yeah, for a permeable sand, you can see it's drying up quick, but that water table is pretty high. We're ready to set the lid on. <clears throat> Showed you with the GoPro, but I'll show you on the other camera here. This is my phone. <clears throat> We've got sump pump installed in the bottom, small riser, 3 16 inch hole drilled in there as a pressure relief. Again, pressure relief is important. This is a very powerful pump. When it kicks on, it can actually airlock because there's water sitting in the top of this pump and there's a valve there that opens and closes. So it, when it kicks on, it sucks air, it, it'll stop, it won't pump, it'll just run. So you need that pressure relief. Um, so now we've got that, we've got our check valve, arrows pointing upwards, then we've got a small riser above that, the 90 degree turn, all glued, drilled, and you can see where we're going out. We haven't connected the rest of that line, but we're ready to go ahead and put the lid on and cover this up to this point. Well, we backfilled the area, got our pump right here, we'll clean that off, a little bit more clean up here in the mulch bed, and we're just about out of here. You know, we did this job in a day, and uh, we've got a really great crew. If you're doing this job yourself, plan for a few days. And even though this was only down there a couple of feet, and it was easy digging in the sand, not saying it was hard, it was very easy for us to dig this out. But if you do this yourself, plan for a couple days, and you can do this, you can save yourself ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 over having a waterproof company come in and solve that problem. Remember, we're right on the Atlantic Ocean. This is oceanfront property. And these beach homes, they're much different than regular homes. The, the construction of these homes, they have to withstand hurricane force winds, you know, all of the things that you don't really experience when you're inland. But the best thing about when we work on the oceanfront homes is when we're all done, we like to go surfing. And so like our title picture shows, we're going over to the beach. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.